This is a programming and maintenance guide for the RDE100 series thermostat. Firstly, let's run through what the symbols represent on the display screen. This is the temperature gauge, which normally shows the current floor temperature. It's also used to display your desired temperatures during programming. This is the clock which displays the current time. It's also used when setting up the 7 day on off timer. It can also be changed between 12 and 24 hour time in the advanced menu explained later in the video. These numbers on the top of the screen correspond to the days of the week, with 1 being Monday and 7 being Sunday. This is part of the 7 day on off timer. This line symbolises the current day in 24 hours. Each block is a 1 hour increment. The 7 day on off timer uses this line to know when to turn on and off the heated floors. This is the heating symbol which will display when the heating element is turned on. This is the key lock symbol which will display if the keypad has been locked. This is the low battery indicator which will display if the batteries need replacing. To replace the batteries follow the tutorial later in the video. This is the off and frost protection indicator. This will display if the floor temperature falls low enough for the frost protection system to activate or if the unit is turned off. This symbol is hidden by default. It can be activated through the advanced menu shown later in the video. This is the auto timer symbol. This will display if you have the unit operating on the 7 day on off timer. When the sun symbol is displayed, the unit is in comfort mode, which means the floor will stay at your chosen temperature all the time. When the moon symbol is displayed, the unit is on economy mode. Economy mode means that your floor heating will only turn on if the temperature drops below your chosen minimum temperature. This symbol will appear when you have an external temperature gauge connected, such as the one hidden within your heated floor. This symbol is switched off by default, though it can be activated through the advanced menu shown later in the video. These four symbols are used when setting up the unit. Let's look at each one now. The circled thermometer symbol is for when you wish to set default temperatures, so that unless you choose otherwise, the unit will always use your default temperatures. The auto timer symbol is for when you wish to use the 7 day on off timer. The clock symbol is for when you wish to set the current time and day. And the suitcase symbol is for when you wish to use holiday mode, where you choose a minimum temperature and then how many days you're away. When the door symbol is displayed, it simply means that you can exit from wherever you are by pressing the button directly below it. And on the other side of the screen, the tick or OK symbol similarly means that you can confirm a setting by pressing the button directly below it. Now let's move on to what each button does, starting with the top left which is the mode button. In the center is the set button. And on the right is the OK button. Underneath are the positive button and the negative button, used for adjusting temperatures and times. Now let's set up the unit. Setting the time and day. Press the set button three times until you have selected the clock. Then press OK to change the time settings. Press the plus or minus button to increase or decrease the time. When you have the correct time, press the OK button to confirm. Now let's select the correct day of the week. At the top of the display, a number between 1 and 7 will be flashing, with Monday being 1 and Sunday being 7. Press the plus or minus button until you have selected your correct day, in this case Saturday or the number 6. Then press the OK button to confirm. Setting the default floor temperatures. These are the comfort and economy temperatures your unit will always automatically use. To begin, press the set button so that the circled thermometer is selected and press OK. A marker will point at the sun symbol, which is comfort mode. Use the plus or minus buttons to choose your default comfort mode floor temperature. In this case, 22 degrees. 
Now let's select the moon symbol for economy mode by pressing the mode button. Use the plus and minus buttons to select your default economy mode floor temperature, in this case 11 degrees. When you have chosen your default comfort and economy temperatures press OK and then the exit button. Your default temperatures have now been set. Setting the 7 day on off timer. To adjust the timer settings, press the set button until the auto timer icon is selected. Then press OK. This will automatically take us to day 1 which is Monday. If you wish to choose a different day, you can press the plus or minus buttons. In this case we will adjust the floors on off times for Monday by selecting day 1 and pressing OK. If you remember from the introduction, this is the timer line, and each block represents an hour in the day. Where there are no blocks showing on the timer line, it means that the element is not scheduled to turn on, operating on economy mode instead. Where there are blocks showing on this line, it means that the element is scheduled to switch on to your desired temperature at that time. In this case, let's set the floor element to switch on at a selected time in the morning. To do this, select economy mode or the moon symbol by pressing the mode button. Once in economy mode, press the plus or minus buttons to find your desired switch on time. In this case I will choose 8am. When 8am has been reached, swap to comfort mode or the sun symbol. Do this by pressing the mode button. Then continue pressing the plus button until you have reached your desired switch off time. In this case the element will turn off at 10am. With the morning time complete, let's set the element to turn on in the afternoon as well. To do this, again go into economy mode, then press the plus button until you have reached your afternoon switch on time. In this case 3pm. Once reached, switch back into comfort mode and continue pressing the plus button until you have reached your chosen switch off time. In this case, 6pm. Now to ensure the element stays off for the remaining time in this day, switch back into economy mode and continue pressing the plus button until you reach midnight. When you are happy with your switch on and switch off times for day 1, press OK to confirm and then you can move on to the next day using the plus button. Once complete, press the exit button twice to take you back to the main screen. Now to use the newly set up timer, press mode. The timer symbol will be visible for you to select next to the sun and moon symbols. Activating holiday mode. Press the set button until you have selected the suitcase symbol, then press the OK button. The display will start flashing, which means you can now use the plus and minus buttons to select your desired minimum temperature while you're away. In this case we'll select 10 degrees. Press the OK button to confirm the temperature. Now use the plus and minus buttons to select how many days you'll be away up to 365. When you have selected the number of holidays, press the OK button to confirm. Now the unit is in holiday mode as the suitcase symbol is shown at the bottom of the screen. Above that are the days remaining on your holiday. To cancel holiday mode at any time, simply press the mode button. Locking the keypad. To prevent others changing your thermostat settings, you can lock the keypad. To do this, press and hold the mode button for 7 seconds. The padlock symbol will then be shown. And the keypad will become unresponsive. To turn off the key lock, Press and hold the mode button again for 7 seconds. Changing the batteries. To change the batteries, run your finger along the underside of the unit until you feel a lip. 
Then prise the battery holder out. Use only AAA alkaline batteries. When you have changed the batteries, simply push the battery holder back in. Removing the unit from the wall. To remove the thermostat, first undo the screw below the unit using a Phillips type screwdriver, turning it anti-clockwise. Once loose, lift the bottom of the unit outwards. To place the unit back on the wall, simply reverse the procedure. Then tighten the screw by turning it clockwise. Changing between 12 and 24 hour time. To switch between 12 and 24 hour time, go to the advanced settings menu by pressing the plus and minus buttons at the same time for 5 seconds. Then let go. P01 will show which is the clock settings. Press the OK button. Now use the plus or minus button to change between 1 and 2. 1 is 24 hour time and 2 is 12 hour time. In this case we will select 2 which is 12 hour time. Press OK to confirm and then press the mode button to exit. The clock is now displaying 12 hour time. Displaying the frost protection icon. To show the off or frost protection icon, go to the advanced settings menu by pressing the plus and minus buttons for 5 seconds, then let go. P01 will show. Use the plus button until you see P10. And then press the OK button. Now use the plus or minus button to change between 0 and 1. 0 means the frost protection icon will not show, and 1 means the frost protection icon will show. In this case we will select 1. Press OK to confirm, and then press the mode button to exit. The off or frost protection icon will now show when the unit is activated by very low temperatures or turned off. Activating the one day covers all timer. This option allows you to set the timer for just one day and the unit will apply those times for every other day. To turn this option on, go to the advanced settings menu by pressing the plus and minus buttons for 5 seconds, then let go. P01 will show. Use the plus button until you see P11. Then press the OK button. Now use the plus or minus buttons to change between 0, 1 and 2. 0 means this option is turned off. 1 means it's turned on. 2 is a different option where the unit will use the same temperature for only 5 days and a different temperature for Saturday and Sunday. In this case we will select 1. Press OK to confirm and then press the mode button to exit. Now you can enter on and off times for just one day and these times will automatically apply to all other days of the week. Selecting your temperature input sensor. This option allows you to choose which type of temperature sensor you will use for your thermostat. To adjust these settings, go to the advanced settings menu by pressing the plus and minus buttons for 5 seconds, then let go. P01 will show. Use the plus button until you see P14 and press the OK button. Now use the plus or minus button to change between 0, 1 and 2. 0 means the unit will not use an input sensor and will rely on its built-in thermometer. 1 means the unit will use a standard external temperature sensor. 2 means the unit will use a digital external temperature sensor. In this case, we will select 1 for a standard temperature sensor located within the floor. Press OK to confirm, and then press the mode button to exit. If your sensor is connected correctly, you will see the input logo on the screen here. If you have any questions, please give us a call on 0508 Heatwell or heatwell.co.nz.